Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are one day removed from the Foot Birthday promo and we already have some crazy market rises on FIFA Ultimate Team literally one day after these Foot Birthday cards have gone away from packs and after all the hype and the panic selling from the Party Bag version of 3, SBC came out. I wanna talk about the market, what's happening right now, and what you can expect in these next few days and stuff to just think about with these foot birthday cards. Now, I know a lot of you guys have invested in these, right? I've got some as well. And it's starting to look like one of those situations where you look back and you're saying, shoot, why didn't I put even more coins into some of these cards? Lucas Hernandez yesterday, this was one of my favorites that you could pick out as one of the foot birthday investments. Uh, he was 275, 280K on Sunday. Now, my man is over 300,000 coins, and that's just the beginning of it. You want to see some of the biggest crazy rises from these yesterday? I'm sure you guys know because you've been watching these cards. A lot of people wanted to buy these cards, and if you didn't get in, then you might have missed out. Douglas Costa, 555,000 coins right now on the market. This guy literally 24 hours ago was 490K, 500K flat. He's up 500. 50,000 coins in one day. He's up to 550. So uh, some of the rises on these cards is crazy. It's fast, it's quick, and they've basically just jumped out of the gates and they've gone up in price a lot. Now, I want to talk about when should you sell because right now in these last two days, we've had mostly buying, right? We've had mostly buying and people investing in these cards and buying them for their teams. When is going to be the sell time for these? Are they going to rise even up even more throughout this week? Or are they going to rise on Thursday? Um, I want to talk about a couple scenarios that we could see and then provide you with some thinking opportunities for when you might want to sell those cards. Because the, the reality is when you sell is really specific to you, what you want to do with your coins, what you need your coins for, and how many coins you have. Um, but I want to look over some of these rises in price. Uh, and again, just talk about these cards. We knew these cards would be rising out of packs just because of the sheer demand that they had, just because they're different, right? A Lacazette with a five-star weak foot, right? Or a Kylian Mbappe with a five-star weak foot and five-star skills, which is now the same price and or more expensive than a team of the year, Mbappe. I would have never thought that in FIFA Ultimate Team, I would see a lower rated version of the same player that has a team of the year be more expensive than that team of the year card. It's crazy. But some people say the five-star weak foot on this Mbappe makes him even more elite. But anyways, um, we have seen crazy rise on these cards. Lacazette from 900K, he was actually under 900, to 960 at the moment. Again, we looked at Douglas Costa. Team two, right? I would say, I said, hey, look at team one first because, you know, they've already risen. I, I think that they're going to rise again. Guys from team two have still risen. I didn't think they wouldn't. I just didn't know it was going to be this extreme this quick. I thought we were going to see these sorts of rises. I thought Douglas Costa was going to be 550,000 coins like after rewards on Wednesday. It's literally been one day and he's already up 50,000 coins. So again, let's take a look at team one. Um, and, and again, since a lot of people have invested in these, that means a, there's a lot of supply that's not on the market or it's maybe on the market and it's listed for lazy buyers. But that's not a lot of, you know, there's a lot of cards that are being held. Um, and I think that with the rise today, I don't think a lot of people are going to start selling yet because it's day one and you're not expected to sell yet, right? People who bought these cards and who invested in them aren't thinking about selling them just yet. A lot of people are probably going to be selling these after weekend league rewards on Thursday, Friday. So with that in mind, and this is one of the things I wanted to talk about and kind of just talk you guys through today is when do you want to sell these and can you still buy some of these cards. I, I'm the type of person that likes to get the absolute lowest price. Uh, are these cards still going to rise? I do think there's an opportunity for them to rise. But if you go around and look at some of these foot birthdays, almost all of them have risen a decent chunk. Rashford has not risen that much. He's 151, 152. He was 145 yesterday, I think. He was 1389. Wow. So he was 14 lows. Okay. He's actually up a little bit. But um, I think this Rashford will get back to 1.6 million in the next, you know, couple weeks or so, depending on what promos we have and what content EA comes out with. So maybe if you saw this back under 1.5 for whatever reason, that could that could be like a pull of the trigger, still a still move that you could make. Are these are most of these still viable? I would say no. You might have missed the boat. Um, but if you do have some, because I, I advise you guys, I said, hey, 
There's a plenty of cards here that I like. I point some specific ones out to you, and I hope you made some of those investments because you're sitting pretty right now on those cards if you did. But since a lot of people have invested in these, when is going to be the best sell time? Again, if you really, really need the coins, and I'm talking like really, really need the coins as in you want to buy a team for Weekend League this week, which, I mean, if you haven't bought your team yet, you're going to be buying at a little bit of an inflated price because technically one of the cheapest times to buy is actually on Sunday nights with the way that things are going now in foot. Like Sunday nights is when you kind of want to buy these cards, to be honest, when the weekend league sell-off is happening because there's just so much hype on FIFA right now that there's way more people selling on Sundays and Saturday nights than, um, than, than later in the week. And people start to buy their teams earlier as well. So um, my advice for selling these cards is I think they're going to rot. And this, this is what I think is going to happen with them week. Since so many people have invested... And so many people are probably going to try to sell this weekend, right? Because people kind of get, not stir crazy, but they kind of, they don't like holding investments for too long, especially in the way that EA operates this game this year. There's probably some people out there that have advised people to buy these cards uh, and they're telling them to sell them on rewards at Thursday. And that's kind of like the, the easiest way for them to say, you got in, you got some investments, they rose and you got out. So with that in mind, I think a lot of people are going to sell on Thursday after rewards. With that in mind, you might actually see the prices stay the same or possibly drop for some cards a little bit on Thursday as people start to offload their investments because that's when the market's supposed to go up after rewards. Makes sense, right? So when do you want to sell? Well, here's 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 my thing. I'm going to talk you through a couple different scenarios. Scenario one is there's no promo this weekend. Scenario one is... EA does not drop a promotion this weekend on FIFA Ultimate Team. People are still in the game. People are at home. People are quarantined. People have more time to play foot. So prices continue to rise because people are on the game. These cards get more rare. More people want them for their, their squads and their teams and stuff like that. That is scenario number one. In that scenario, you probably just keep holding, right? Because they're going to go up even more out of packs because they're more they're desirable cards. More and more people are going to want to try to use them, and they're going to continue to get rare on the market. That's what happens when cards go out of packs. They can get rarer and rarer until there's either panic selling uh, or they get resupplied and put back into packs somehow. So um, if you don't think there's a promo coming this weekend, I don't know if there is. I don't have leaks. Uh, I, don't, I don't have any of that kind of stuff. I really do not know about a promo coming this weekend. Um, if you don't think there is one, though, Whatever research that you can do, whatever thoughts you have or opinions you have, if you don't think it's a promo, I think you continue to hold. Especially, especially right here. That's not a fresh Mbappe, but especially if you have a fresh card, right? A lot of you guys were investing Sunday, Saturday on these cards. You probably have fresh versions of these cards. That, in a couple weeks' time, if you wait, look at, there's no fresh Mbappes here. Mbappe is 5.5 right now. How high do I have to go for the cheapest fresh Mbappe? 5.7 mil. 5.7, 5.8 mil for the cheapest fresh one. The fresh rarity on these cards is going to be declining. Like they're going to get super, super rare. That's what I'm saying. The amount of rare card or amount of fresh cards on the market is going to be dropping a lot, of course, as they stay out of packs longer. So if you invested in cards, like I've got a couple of my transfer list, right? I've got some Teo Hernandez. I've got a Havertz. Um, who else do I have? I've got some, uh, Lucas Hernandez as well. I've got some of these guys. Uh, this is a first owner fresh, I believe. Okay. Boom. 269,000 coins for this Lucas Hernandez. He's right now 305k. I'm not going to sell him yet. Um, this one as well. I think I got a great price on this card. 382. No, it was this one. 360 for this, uh, Teo Hernandez. That was fantastic. But if you got a fresh card, think of it this way. Let's say you bought 10 Hernandez. Um, you drop three mil almost into this card and, you know, maybe six of them are fresh, right? The six that are fresh, they're going to be a more appealing in two weeks than they would be this week because people will overpay for that fresh card a week or so down the line uh, when they want it for their teams because people always like the fresh cards. So you can think of it that way. If you don't think there's a promo coming this weekend, list them high, let them drop a little bit on Sunday this week after week in league sell off. And then let them, let them rise up even higher in that second week after. Because what we see with promo cards a lot of time is, and we can go back and look at some of these team of the weeks uh, from times past, is that when you look at some of these promo cards, let's look at like David Alaba, for example. 
The second week after they go out of packs is when they rise ex more exponentially, right? So boom, they're in packs. Um, when was this? This was a Friday. This is a Friday right here. So this, the first week he's out of packs, not much, right? But then boom, the next Friday, the man starts going up in price. This one might not be the best example. What about Ricardo Perea? Um, a lot of times, boom, here, here's, this is the example I was looking for. A meta card um, that people like to use. Boom. So it comes into packs Friday. The next Friday, he goes out of packs right here, 210. The next week, next Friday, he goes up a little bit, right? He's 230. And then what happens the next Friday after that? The man is two, 300,000 coins after that second week. Again, rarity plays into that a little bit and just the demand of the card and how well he fits the position. Alaba, you know, he's more, not really a center back type, although I know a lot of people love this card. Um, you you see, and this is a, this is a thing you see often, you go, go back and look at some of the past team of the weeks and past um, special card sets. That second week out of packs, usually, is a higher rise than the first week percentage point wise. So if there's no promo this weekend, which I'm not sure about, again, I, I don't know. If you want to take that risk, you can. I do think you'll see these cards rise into week two a really, really, really solid amount. And I think that could be some of the sell time for you guys, unless you want to get your coins earlier. And if you want to get your coins earlier because you want to keep trading, like right now I've got a million coins, or let's say you're somebody who you bought, you went out and you bought a bunch of DaCostas, right? This is a very popular card to invest in. This would also be the type of card that I would be a little bit scared of, of the not over investing, but just the possibility of this card on Thursday at Rewards, having some more supply entered on the market as people who invested in this card start listing them up, right? 220K for this card right now. A lot of people bought him for under 200. Um, there's probably some freshies out here. Yeah, there's probably still a decent amount of freshies, fresh cards in the market for the lower tier of birthday items uh, that were packed a lot. Boom, look at this guy. This guy's got a bunch of them here that he relisted all at the same time at 220K. My my guy's uh, DaCostas are about to sell and he didn't list them high enough for lazy buyers. They're actually about to sell. But um, if you need, need the coins or if you, you're scared the promo is coming, I think this week what you want, might want to do if you have a card like a DaCosta or a Lasagna or a Lamar, it, or one of those guys that was uh, one of the most easy cards to invest in that would have a, a very, not very high, but a higher likelihood of overinvestment, which on these lower cards is an absolute thing, a Lamar or a Lasagna or DaCosta, uh, maybe even Havertz, right? There is a potential for overinvesting. And when people go to sell those cards, it kind of floods the market. Now, these cards have a lot of demand, but since they were getting bought up all day today, that kind of shows me that maybe people who wanted these cards are buying them now and not as many people will be buying them on Thursday. It's probably not true because there's going to be a lot of people that want to buy these cards. But if you want the short-term cash and you want to maximize on a guy like Lamar, Lasagna, uh, DaCosta, I would even throw like Eggstein in this category. If you invested in a low-tier but birthday card and you want the cash now, right? What is that? Like a, the, one of those commercials, like it's my money and I need it now, uh, American TV. But um, if, if it's something like you want your coins back from your investment, you're seeing the profit, you're seeing the stacks of coins that you're making and you want that money now, I would say sell before rewards. Look at the prices Wednesday and watch the prices, right? I, I could just I'd keep switching back and forth between screens, but I want to show you guys these graphs, right? Muniain, 150K. Let's say you bought 10 Muniains at 130,000 coins, and now my dude is 150K. If you see from Tuesday into Wednesday before rewards, if you see another big increase, like if Muniain is 170,000 coins on Wednesday, that would be a, a spot for me where I would say, okay, last week after he went out of packs during team two, he was only 160. He went down to 130 on the weekend, and now he's back to 150 already. Do I take the coins at 165 or 170,000 coins um, and then, you know, be ahead of everybody else? I think you might because some of these cards have rebounded so much already that I wonder how much of that is just baked in with people who are investing in them, right? Because a part of that investment pulls cards off the market, makes them go rare and have their price rise up. So if you bought a low tier card, one of the cheaper foot birthdays and you want your cash soon and you see a big rise on Tuesday again or Wednesday, 
then I would take the cash before rewards or try to sell an early on at rewards um, as people maybe go out and try to buy these cards for their teams. But at the rewards time, I do think you will see a drop in some of these or maybe their prices will stay steady, right? Everybody's going to expect them to go up more during the rewards. Some of them will. Some of these cards will go up at rewards, the more rare ones, like maybe a Lacazette or a Di Maria or Bale or Pogba, because there's less people that have invested in those, but there's a lot of people that invested in Lamar's. Again, Teo Hernandez, Lucas Hernandez, Lasagna, Eggstein, those guys that you could see some people flooding the market with and, co and possibly causing their prices to stay the same and or drop on Thursday or into the weekend with rewards. Now, there's going to be a, there could be, not going to say that it's guaranteed, but there could be a secondary investment time for these on the weekend league sell off Sunday of next week. You, I mean, we see it every week. We look at my transfer list right now. I didn't buy as many full birthday cards as I would have liked, but I bought some team of the weeks and I bought some, look at these Telemans, man. I'm listing them at, I bought those at 239 and 237,000 coins for Telemans, right? I bought, bought those because of the panic selling for the uh, party bag set two. I need to list my Telemans higher, man. 265K for this guy, and I bought him at 235, right? So there was massive rebound across the market today, not just on flip birthdays. There was actually a better rebound on the on some of the future stars and some of the shapeshifters just because of the fact that they're they are out of packs and they've been out of packs for a while. Vinicius Jr., another perfect example. Um, 500 and like 30,000 coins right now, 540. This guy was 485 on Sunday night, all the way up, to, all the way up to 535, 540 now, um, because of, you know, just the panic selling subsiding. People are on the game. People are starting to buy cards, build their teams for this next week, because people are starting to learn that, Hey, stuff is cheaper earlier in the week than it is later in the week. So if you need the coins really quickly on these foot birthdays, I would take them early. And again, if you bought anything Sunday night, if you bought anything on Sunday night, uh, you're you're in the money. Uh, whether you bought Road to the Final cards that were being sold off from Week and League, Team of the Week cards. I got this Bruno Fernandez at 6:30. Uh, I got two of them, I think, at 6:30. I got this Dembele at 6:40. I got this Atal at 6:40 as well. This Alaba was at 2:53, um, and I got some more cards back here that I am not even listing right now, but. Um, just keep an eye out for these cards on the weekend league sell off on Sunday as well. That's what I was getting at. There's going to be a second investment opportunity. If you see these cards start to drop again, right? We're talking about some possible over investing. I don't know how, you know, I don't know the effect of how over invested a lot of these cards will be. I feel like a lot of people bought maybe lasagna and da Costa. I think da Costa was one of the most popular ones. The Costa right now is 220, right? Let's say he hits 230, 235,000 coins. Um, how much supply does he have at 240? At 240K, he has, at least right now on the, the late market, he's got a decent amount of supply. Okay, there's a decent amount of him at 240K. Could he get to 240? I don't know. That might be a bit high. Uh, you see a lot of them listed here at 229. This is somebody that has a ton of DeCostas, and they have them all listed up at 239K. But... Um, this is a card that I would fear a little bit of over investing in. You might see a little bit of a sell off and people selling their investments over this weekend. Maybe he gets back down to like 205, 207, under 210K out of packs because of a bit of over investment. And then that's a second opportunity to get in with these cards. I'm going to be monitoring these cards' prices very closely throughout the rest of this week, whether it's high tier guys like a Bale, whether it's low tier like DaCosta. I'm going to keep tabs on these guys' prices because um, I know a lot of you guys are invested in these cards. You're trying to make coins. But also, I want to be very wary and be just ready for that second investment opportunity because these cards are very hyped up in this game. And again, I think the second, week's out of, the second week out of packs, if we buy on this next Sunday night, that could be a big time opportunity for us with these cards as well. But there's plenty of ways to make coins like right now on the market. Of course, you can trade with these new cards. I was just looking up before I started this video, Lucas Hernandez, right? He's 300,000 coins, the new foot birthday item uh, on the market, I think. Just just over 300K, is that correct? 307, 307K for Lucas Hernandez, right? Maybe he's not the best example, but uh, maybe like Lozano. This might be a decent one too. Lozano is 100K. Let's check Lozano's price. 100,000 coins. 
right around 100,000 coins. You can chemistry style trade with these cards in any out of packs in form right now, and that is fantastic money. Oh, Lozano with a Hunter card, 117K. Now, is that going to sell? Eight minutes left, probably not. You might be able to get a sale at 115 or 110. Um, and you might be able to snag a Lozano with a hunter, a hunter right down for 100,000 coins, which is his going price. Again, that's chemistry style trading. You can do that with these new popular foot birthday cards because people buy them, 99.5 for Lozano. People, people buy them, they try them out, they put a chem style on them, and they forget sometimes that they maybe have a shadow or a hunter chemistry style attached, and then boom, you see a undercut. Somebody's selling the card to get rid of it, to take the coins, they're done trying it out but it has that chemistry style on it and you can you know that that card sells for more with that price. So just keep an eye on these cards. Again, I'm gonna be watching these. It's crazy the amount of rise the market has had today. I'm gonna to show you this graph really quick. This is the PlayStation 4 special graph from Squad Battle Rewards time early Monday morning until right now. And it's it's it doesn't look like a massive rise, but wait till you see the numbers. 124 points at 5 a.m. UK on Monday. And right now, we're at 131 points. We were at 132 around 6 p.m. today, a little bit after 6 p.m. 131 and still rising in terms of the points on the index special on Footbin. So massive rise in the market today. I think it continues tomorrow. I really don't see what is going to bring this market down in the next couple of days unless they start to tease a promo. And the only promo I could see them doing is like some sort of UCL moments promo because um, right now is when we would have had Team of the Knockout stage. So we'll see if they do anything like that. But for now, I think a lot of you guys just want to keep holding on to your foot birthday investments. If you bought stuff on Sunday night like I did, I'm literally, I'm not broke, but I went from 12 million coins to 1 million coin. So uh, I am definitely, you know, fairly invested at the moment, which I feel like a lot of you guys are. So keep checking prices, keep holding your cards, and list for lazy buyers, okay? You'd never know what kind of sales you could get on some of these lazy buyers. I thought Telemans, again, I listed at 280 for this card. I'm gonna try to up those to 290 because if the market keeps going like this the next couple days, prices are only gonna continue to rise. So that's my stuff. Those are my thoughts on the foot birthdays from today. Crazy market rise. We're looking good on making some coins. And it's now we just have to kind of pick and choose when that sell time is most optimal for us. If you guys enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.